Welcome to this episode of The Outdoors. This is going to be quick tip number 15. Now, I've done a lot of spinning reel videos in a row, and yes, this is the same time because they're only two minutes long, so I can get a lot done quick. Um, that first video I showed you was a pond. A pond setup. It was nice. Second one was a pond and lake setup. Really, there's no like setup that you can't use in a pond or a lake. Like, I can use this in a pond if I wanted to. The first one was $17 a second reel I showed you. That was a combo. That was around $30, $25, $30. Now this right here, I actually have two of these. I bought, we got this at, um, or I bought this. Well, we got this, let me rephrase that. Um, from Academy, this is actually a H2. Now some of y'all might, H2O, you might be familiar with like other brands. Um, that's actually the, Brent, the Pete worm bag I use, H2O Worm Bag Express. Um, this is their six foot six, um, six foot six. We don't really see an action. Well, I think this is a medium heavy. Yeah, it's a medium heavy, as you can see. That's what I'm guessing. But this one right here is actually going to be in the 50 to $55, I think it was. This is one of our more expensive reels that we bought. Like I said, we have two. This is great to use a drop shot on, is which I have tied on here. Shaky head. Um, we've thrown jigs on it. We've thrown spinner baits on it. Really anything that you can throw on a spinning open face reel, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, thanks for watching this episode of D Outdoors, and I will see you on the next one.